Hi there, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel. Nowadays, I am listening about one very popular application that is called a chat GPT. And does chat GPT have abilities to replace the network admin in the future? Or does chat GPT can help a network admin in the future to configure a router and all? Everything we are going to discuss in this video, so make sure to watch it till the end. By the way, this is a chat GPT I have already installed on my laptop. And here I am going to run the few commands that we basically use to configure a router in a network. And let's see whether it is able to give the correct answer or not. So let's start with the basic commands and all. So first question I am going to ask this chat GPT about a submitting that is my personal favorite topic in Cisco CCNA. And uh, the question is going to be very very simple. So let's click on new chat. And the question is what is the subnet mask of 172.168.10.0 slash 18. I know it is very very easy to answer but let's see whether this application is able to answer it or not or how this application is answering this particular one question and cool as here you can see it is able to give the correct answer the subnet mask of 172.168.10.0/18 is 255.255.192.0 it is not only telling you the answer but it is also explaining you how this answer came here so this is a very good application if you are a student if you want to learn cisco ccna and it, this application can save you lots of time to search for the correct answer by the way let's ask some different questions the next question i'm going to ask about some networking commands that is for example how to configure telnet in router via command let's see OMG, can you believe this guys? See, it is giving you the exact step-by-step -step tutorial on how to configure Telnet in a router. Even all the commands and which command is used for what. Everything is explained here. So this sounds really cool. Now let me ask few more questions. Now this time I am going to ask again about some commands in a networking that is how to configure DHCP in a router via command. Let's see whether it is able to give the correct answer or not. Okay, configure terminal, cool. DHCP pool, okay, nice. We have to give it DHCP pool name, correct? Default router, cool. Brilliant. Nice. It does a really great job. Now this is only three questions I have asked as of now. I have made a list of 10 questions and we're going to ask each and every question. But as of now, if you're enjoying this video, at least hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, do subscribe it right now. The next question, what I'm going to ask it, let's give it some little different, uh, difficult task. The question is to create 590 subnets with 60 hosts per subnet from the network 172.29.0.0 you will need to determine the appropriate subnet mask to use let's see whether it is able to give the correct answer or not our first priority is we need 590 subnets with at least 60 available host before going forward i would like to tell you there is a year end sale going on on our complete cisco ccna course that is especially designed for beginners the course is available in two languages english and hindi so if you're interested in cisco ccna and if you want to learn from me this is the best opportunity for you so click on the link given in the description section below and enroll the course right now before the offer gets expired And finally, we have got the answer and the answer is absolutely wrong. Yes, it has does the quite good job for explaining the things and all, but this is not the correct answer because to get the 590 subnets, at least we have to borrow 10 bits from the host. And if you borrow the 10 bits, the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.192. But here we're getting not that particular one submit mask. So this is not the correct answer. So what does it mean? ChatGPT is doing a great job, but it is not showing you the accurate answer. Let's try some other question. Uh, let's ask him to configure RIP. That is a very easiest and old routing information protocol, right? So configure RIP protocol on a router with network 
10.0.0.0, 20.0.0.0 till 40.0.0.0. So in this network we have four router and I am asking the chat GPT to configure RIP protocol. Okay, so let's hit enter. Go to global configuration mode and after that enable router RIP. Okay, next. Okay, add the network. All the network we have to add here. Okay, add it. Even 40.0.0.0 is also added. Save the configuration. And that's it. Nice. So it is able to configure the routing information protocol, right? And it has given you all the commands that is required to configure RIP in a router. So guys, as you have seen, how cool is ChatGPT? And if you want to practice Cisco CCNA, then definitely this one application is going to be very, very useful for you. There is a good news for you. There is a year end sale going on on our complete Cisco CCNA course that is especially designed for beginners. The course is available in two languages, English and Hindi. So before the year get ends, go and enroll the course right now. Check the link in description section below and I will see you inside the course. Thanks for watching.